morning sir i am shrapri of class 9th excellent and i am going to explain about newton's laws so coming to newton's first law it's about inertia so it says that an object stays at rest in an object in motion with the same speed and same direction unless acted by an unbalanced force means it just says that we cannot change the motion of a body whether it is at rest or in motion unless an external force is acting on that body for an example a pendulum in this the pendulum is moving with the same speed with the same direction and if we want to change the motion of the pendulum either we have to touch or some external force should act on that pendulum to change the motion of the pendulum so inertia completely depends on mass and mass is directly proportional to inertia for example there are two cases so the left box is the lighter one and the right box is the heavier one to move the left box i may have to apply 50 newtons but the box which is towards the right i may have have to apply like 250 newtons now because the box which is towards the left it is having less mass so less mass means less inertia but the box which is towards the right it is having more mass so hence the inertia will also be more itself and that's all about newton's first law so coming to newton's second law that is all about momentum and force so force is a product of mass and acceleration and the rate of change of momentum of an object is equal to the force applied and the force is directly proportional to acceleration and inversely proportional to the mass for example there are two boxes and the left one is the lighter box and the right is the heavy box so for both the boxes i'll apply 500 newtons and the box which is towards the left may move till some distance and the box which is towards the right may just change its motion because in the left case the mass is less so the force is more means it will act more effectively so coming to momentum so the quantity of motion in a body depends on the mass and velocity of the body so this gives us another term known as momentum so momentum is of a body is defined as the product of its mass and velocity means momentum is equal to mass into velocity or like we can give a expression like p is equal to mv so p means momentum m means mass and v means velocity the momentum takes the direction in which the velocity is if the velocity is towards west the momentum will also be towards west so hence momentum is a vector quantity and the si unit of momentum is kg meter per second as we know that momentum is a product of mass and velocity even the si unit of momentum will be a product of mass si unit and velocity is si unit so the si unit of mass is kg and velocity is meter per second so the si unit of momentum is kg meter per second now let us solve a problem and let us consider a mass is 50 kg and velocity is 15 meter per second and the momentum of this body will be 750 kg meter per second and that's all about newton's second law now coming to newton's third law it's about action and reaction it says that to every action there is a equal and opposite reaction in this action means the force applied for example in this the book is exerting 230 newtons on the table and even the table will also exert 230 newtons on the book but the book will exert that 230 newtons in a downward direction and the table will apply that 230 newtons in an upward direction and another example is while we are walking if we exert 150 newtons on the earth even the earth also exerts 150 newton on us but we exert in a downward direction and the earth exerts that 150 newtons in an upward direction and some more examples of newton's third law are walking swimming 
hammering a nail, slapping, beating, the recoil of a gun, rowing a boat, and pulling an elastic band, etc. So and that's all about Newton's third law. Now we have learned about Newton's first, second, and third law. Now let us imagine that what would happen if there was no Newton's laws? Means what would happen if the laws were not existed? So now, so now let us see what would happen if Newton's first law was violated. Uh, uh, like just let us imagine. So Newton's first law says that we cannot change the motion of a body unless it is acted by an unbalanced force so but if there was no first law a body may move from its state of rest even when no external force is applied on it means objects were moving on its own on its own and uh, like, uh, like just imagine that you're uh, sleeping and the blanket is on you because of newton's first law uh, if newton's first law did not exist even the blanket was moving here and there and uh, imagine like uh, if something it is at rest it will be at rest itself and uh, uh, if something is moving on its own like uh, you are sitting in front of a book and the book suddenly moves on its own we get many thoughts right like many thoughts comes to our mind right so now let us see what would happen if newton's second law did not exist so newton's second law specifically deals with the definition of the force causing the mass to accelerate means uh, and it would imply that uh, if there would be no force, there was no movement. Uh, right? If there was no force, means obviously there will be no movement. And if there was no force between the sun and the planets, it was leading to the doom. Means it was causing a, a mass destruction. And even there would have been no big bang. And thus universe was not formed itself. And... Uh, what would happen if Newton's third law did not exist? Exists. It is very simple that nothing would have existed, and uh, nothing would have existed. And uh, that's all. And hope so you have learned and enjoyed this video. So thank you.